Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today, we're about to dive into something truly exciting. We're unveiling the latest update for Finance Tracker Pro version 1.2. So, let's jump right in. To kick things off, let's delve into the remarkable new features that come with Finance Tracker Pro version 1.2. We understand that credit cards play a significant role in modern finances. That's why we've introduced a dedicated credit card management feature. Now, you can effortlessly monitor your credit card transactions, track balances, and analyze your credit utilization. With version 1.2, you have the flexibility to tailor your income categories. Whether you're earning through your main job, freelance gigs, or investments, you can categorize your income streams and gain a better understanding of where your money is coming from. This report provides you with a detailed breakdown of your financial activities for the month. With visual representations of your spending patterns and income sources, you'll be equipped to make informed decisions. I'll guide you through the process of adding your bank and credit card accounts. By having all your accounts in one place, you'll get a comprehensive view of your financial health. To create a new account, simply click the new button and add your bank account name and put the initial balance. Next, in version 1.2, you can create a credit card account easily and you can use this credit card to pay your bills. The green, yellow, and red dots indicate the status of the credit cards. Red indicates the credit card needs immediate payment, yellow means it's still in usable limit, and green means the credit card status is good. To create a new credit card, just click on the new button and fill the necessary information such as the security platform, credit limit, application and open date, annual rate and FEs, and the target utilization. Recording your financial transactions is a breeze. Whether it's adding expenses for that morning coffee or logging in your income from your side hustle, I'll show you how to do it effortlessly. Let's add some expense records. In this example, I want to record my expense of buying food using my bank to account. You also need to select the month to be able to see all of your record in the monthly expense report. Next, let's add an expense record that is paid using credit card. When you pay using your credit card, the available credit card balance will be deducted. You will also see that the status will become yellow, it means that the balance is still in usable credit limit. If you want to make your expense automatically added into the expense list, you can create a template of your recurring payment and set the repeating period. It can be daily, weekly, monthly, and yearly.
You will see on the bottom section of the repeat setting, if you set the starting date of the subscription period to 18th September, then it will be automatically added an expense list at 18th September and the next expense will be on 18th October and so on. Next, let's create an income stream example. In this version 1.2, you can choose the income category. Transferring money between accounts is a common scenario and I'll demonstrate how to execute seamless transfers while maintaining a clear record of your financial movements. To add a new transfer record, just simply click the new button and fill the transfer amount from which account and to which account. You can also transfer money or fund to the financial goals. The monthly report is your ultimate tool for self-assessment. I'll walk you through generating a detailed report that highlights your financial performance for the month. From your spending patterns to your savings, achievements, it's all in there. To create a monthly report, just click the new button and change the name to the month you want to generate the report. As you can see, when you create the month summary, the report is still blank for the October 2023 because you don't have any transaction in it. Every time when you want to record the transaction, don't forget to assign the month of the transaction. You can see on the example of the month September here, the report will be automatically generated because you assign the month September in every transaction. Dreams without a plan are just wishes. I'll show you how to set actionable finance goals using the finance tracker. Whether it's saving for a vacation or building an emergency fund, we've got you covered. To create a new finance goal, just click on the new button and fill the required information. You can upload the image of your goals here. To show your goals image, you can change the card properties to show the cover image. Subscriptions can easily slip through the cracks, but not anymore. I'll demonstrate how to add, manage, and track your subscriptions. Whether you prefer manual payments or automated ones, we've designed the process to be seamless. As you can see on the subscription menu, there are two sections. The first section is the upcoming payment reminder for this month, and the last section is the list of your subscription. To add a new subscription, you can click the new row button and fill the subscription name, amount, billing period, and the first payment date.
As you can see, for the Audible subscription, my next payment will be on 30 September. You can also see the total spent of all my subscription. On the top section, you now have a reminder for the upcoming payment of Audible subscription. To record your subscription payment, there are two ways. The first one is to record it manually by adding to the expense record, and the second way is to create a recurring expense template. Follow these steps to create expense recurring template for the automatic subscription payment. Debt management is a crucial part of financial growth. I'll walk you through adding your debts and tracking your progress. With our debt management feature, you'll be on the path to financial freedom. To add a new debt, just click the new button and fill the necessary information such as loan amount, annual fixed interest rate, minimum payment and additional payment. To pay your debt or loan, you can go to the debt payment section on the dashboard and click new row. Fill the payment amount, debt type, pay from which account, choose month and date. To pay your credit card debt, you can follow the same step. Click in your row, fill the payment amount, which credit card you want to pay, from which account you are going to pay and choose the month and the date. Once you have paid your credit card debt, your credit card status will turn into green dots and your available balance will return to as before. For the investment section, the features are still the same as the previous version. You can create your investment account, track a transaction of buying or selling stock and monitor your portfolio. For those of you looking to take customization to the next level, you can join the Pro Plus version.
In our Pro Plus version, we're giving you the support to tailor your finance tracker as you need. Here is an example where you can manage finances in multiple currencies, set up both yearly and monthly budgets, subcategories for expenses, and even create custom currency converter. Managing bills has never been this organized. In this customization, our customer asks to have new database for bills payment and reminder. The account will only be deducted when the paid check mark is clicked. This is to ensure that our customer not missed any bill payment. 